Why are you trying to disappear my kid? Because we don't have a kid. You have to face this. I am facing this. I am facing it. I am facing this. Congratulations on this film. Such a powerful performance. And you've been getting so much praise from the critics as well. What made this role different for you? I'd never ever seen a birth like that on screen, particularly one that was, you know, aiming for completely unbroken take and that many pages. And the other thing was, it was about a subject that I I know is so rarely talked about. And in fact, I was even surprised myself that when I started doing research and trying to find people who had been through it so that I could really try and do justice to their experience. I had seen Vanessa in um, The Crown and I was very impressed with her work. So. The combination of those three really excited me. I thought to be in conflict with my daughter because I love her in a different way than she would like to be loved is a very interesting thing to play. We share an experience of a miscarriage and I think I, I kind of felt I should write about it somehow in some way. I wanted to write about the loss, but while I was writing, I realized I'm also writing about the love and the grace and the light within the story. And that felt so empowering. It was a really the most beautiful and the most personal writing by you I ever read. But also what I recognized, it's really break our silence. And I was like, I, I want to go there. I know that uh, we're just beginning to be able to talk about it, like Meghan Markle writing that amazing article and Chrissy Teigen speaking about her experience and it, and it feels really important and I'm so proud of it for that reason. My daughter came into this world. <laughs> for the time that she did. The labor scene is this intense moment right at the top of the film. How do you prepare for a scene like that? Because as a viewer, it felt very raw and emotional. So I started doing a ton of research and watched those documentaries and none of them gave me any full idea of how, what a whole labour is like, you know, between the contraction and everything in its entirety. So that really scared me. And then I, I started doing, uh, writing to a lot of obstetricians and one amazing one in North London that allowed me to come and shadow her on the labour ward. Then one afternoon, uh, the totally miraculous thing happened where... One of the midwives came back around and she said, oh, there's a woman who's who's in labor and she's about to start pushing. And I, I'm going to ask if she'd mind if you were with her and sat in the room with her. And, and she said yes. And it was just the most amazing, generous act. And I, I never could have begun to act it without really witnessing what it's actually like. And I was just blown away by her power and the animal in her that took over and this really profound kind of sacred journey that she went on. Certain things medically we just don't have answers for. Dream Very sorry for your loss. Thank you. And Vanessa Kirby is also just incredible in this role. What was it about Vanessa that made her the perfect choice, as well as casting Shia LaBeouf to play opposite of her? I was a huge fan of The Crown, and, and I was a huge fan of Princess Margaret, and she was strong, and she was secretful, and she was rich. And she was beautiful, you know, I mean, it was like, oh my goodness, this is the icons of the big times, like Claudia Cardinale or Catherine Deneuve and, you know, those characters. And I was like, you know, I want to I wanna do this movie with her. And yeah. for sure, you know, we need a misfit for the family and we need someone very different. We need someone who has uh, experience with, it, with addiction. And that's why we felt that he's a good choice. They both know how to be real, to not be superficial or pretending to be the character, but really embody the character. So it takes on a different um, experience when you're, when you're with actors that are able to go there. She has to pay for her incompetence. We need some justice here. No, you need. There's still a level of stigma attached to early infant loss with feelings of isolation, how men should grieve versus women. How do you think the film speaks to that stigma and sort of changes that narrative? You know, whenever there's some an event like that in someone's life, there's a certain shame connected to it. Like, 
what did I do wrong? I thought I was doing all the right things, but then this happened. So I must have made some mistake somewhere. And that needs to be aired a little bit. I, I spent time with who had, had been through it and lost babies and shared their stories and hadn't felt able to before. I always, every day, it was, it was almost for them, you know, in every single way, it was almost led by them, really. It's a story of female courage, you know, and one woman's ability to get through something so unimaginably painful. Who cares about what they think? This is about me. This is about my life. This is me.